A greedy cocaine. <laughs> That's a great name. The game session is about to start. Just thought I'd bring this to you guys. Me and Wayne have been discussing this video for quite some time. Um, we found it extremely hilarious. These <laughs> these guys are uh, killing us. Greedy cupcake and greedy cake eater. Um, let me just give you a little backstory here, real quick. The uh, the game itself, we ended up on their team. These guys, after the first game, were doing you know standard typical stuff. They were you know, <clears throat> dropping money bomb when it didn't need to be done. Um, Playing noobs. You know, but but putting up somewhat of a decent score with us. Uh, snaking a few kills here and there. Um, but then in the next match, in game two, they actually ended up on the opposing team. Which was cool. You know, I mean, we were talking to them. We were having a good time. We were trying to, uh, trying to figure out what's going on with them. Just trying to help. Being the nice guys that we are. One of them finished with a 69, uh, a 6.9K offensive round. Highly impressed. You know, between rounds we're telling them it was great and, you know, good job and shit. Then in the second round, this happens. Like standard typical ladder monkey or high prestige or point starver. He's on a roof. Okay, I get it. He's on a roof. Knows I'm on the roof. Sees I'm on the roof and just starts running. Running, running, taunting, running, running, taunting, running, taunting for the entire second half of the match. <clears throat> so after the match, I got a little upset and I was like, dude, I was impressed until the second round when you turned into the noob. Um, so we assumed it's some type of prestige on a second account or something stupid like that. But, you know, then, you know, he put up one just over a K. Sent me a message in the very next game. Um, after we called him out for, for running and, you know, being idiots, he sent me this message that basically said, Hey, 2v2 me. We won't run. Oh, hell yeah. I'm up for that. I know Wayne is. Listen to his comment. I'll, say, I'll take that fucking offer. What do you think of that, Wayne? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I thought the whole thing was absolutely hilarious because it was just one of those moments where, you, you know when you're that confused and mind blown what's happening, you, you just laugh, you don't know what to say or do or how to react, so you just start laughing your ass off. It was one of those moments, and just to be challenged by, uh, by them outright like that was just mind-bogglingly funny, because normally when you're challenged in ACMP, it's normally by... A, high prestige who's a little bit butthurt you know he, he's lost the previous round so he challenges you for a 1v1 yeah, come at me bro i'm better than you man you know assassinate or whatever you know and just to be challenged like that even when we committed to helping them where me and mesa went you know what what we'll do by the end of the night, we're going to try and get these guys to Prestige 1. So we were letting them get the big kills, we were giving them good locks, we were giving them good defensive locks as well, letting them do a lot of stuns, letting them get high kills. And in the previous round where we actually ended up going up against them, um, we let them beat us because it was like, okay, they can steal a few points off us um, to get up the ladder and all the rest of it. We were being honest model AC citizens. We deserved a medal for kindness. I mean, seriously. But then when it got to their defensive round when we were after them, all they did was run. Just run and then from a distance taunt. And it was like, you know what, we've just done this for you out of the kindness of our hearts. And you kind of well, screw with us and stab us in the back for that. You know, it's like, that's not cool. You know, we, of course we were going to let you win. But it was like, yeah, it, it was a bit of a douche move. It's like, at least let us kill you once. You know what I mean? Just to have something on the scoreboard. Yeah, Wayne, and the thing that, that you forgot to mention in this game here, um, that we actually challenged them in the 2v2, was the fact that they requested money bomb disguise only because that's exactly the sets they have their noobs they can't have any better sets so we agreed to it and in the first uh the first exchange there you saw one of them pop firecrackers so wayne did something i can't remember exactly what it was he he decided he was going to do something other than um what was set forth since they broke the, broke the rules of engagement to begin with so you know it was just nuts they wanted to play us, no, 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 but then they turned around and act like something other than what they wanted to play us as. So, <clears throat> we, you know, we obliged. We did what we could, you know, and 
it is what it is. So we played them as noobs. We played them with noob abilities. Unbeknownst to them that Money Bomb Disguise is one of my actual sets. And I love that set. So it didn't take anything for me to say, yeah, hell yeah, let's do this shit. Let's do it the way it should be done. Let's own some noobs who think they're more than noobs. Double knife. But really, Wayne, be honest. What did you think? So, yeah, we joined them, we played them, you know, we're trying to <clears throat> trying to play them as we should. Um, up until that very last kill right there, they were uh, they were beating us. Now, me and Wayne were laughing the whole time. You know, we us. We are us. We are going to play to have fun. We are always going to have fun, whether we're playing against a 2v2 in a prestige lobby, or we're playing 2v2 in a, you know, against noobs who challenged us. <clears throat> now, clearly, they're regrouping in the very back of this thing but the thing that cracked me and Wayne up the most no matter what was going on was our communication with each other calling them by their gamer tags was just absolutely worth it to us but you know honestly <laughs> it's crazy yeah Wayne back me up here bro what about their gamer tags man oh the gamer tags were so cute I mean like greedy cupcake and greedy cake eater I mean, like, how cute could you get? It's like a married couple's gamer tag, isn't it? Like, <laughs> like, you've got a couple who are having some marital problems, you know, they're always arguing all this, that, and the other, and instead of going to a counselor because it's too expensive or going through, through a divorce, they decide, right, you know what, we're going to play multiplayer together and try and reinforce our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> through playing video games it was like it was so cute like a proper married couple's game attack <laughs> and we just are, are, the whole time dude it was just crazy because it's hard to it's hard to say no i get the cake either you get the cupcake or you know get that greedy bastard i mean it was just we were having way more fun with their gamer tags than i think they intended for uh, anybody to um i'm gonna take a nice little double kill there and, and you know sorry wayne I know it was uh, your oh, abilities that you threw in there. Yeah, I think it was my money bomb too. But anyway, um, I'm going to be popping back and forth between the conversation and, and the gameplay itself because, again, you got to understand, they challenged us, which, you know, hey, I can't blame them. We're OTK. What's up? <laughs> but at the same time, you know, we've been playing a while. Now, at some point in time, we figured out these two have got to be prestige players or not. Because some of the stuff they were doing was good. Some of the stuff they were doing was not so good. Now we got less than a... Just just under a 1600 point um, lead. Our scores aren't exactly the same. I, I was a little bit of a kill whore that time. And, you know, fuck it. It happens sometimes. I can't help that. Sorry, Wayne. I love you. But, no. Be quiet. Don't say anything. Don't even laugh, dude. You're not allowed. So, we... uh. We decide, all right, it's our turn. It's defensive round time. It's time for us to make up some distance, make up some ground, and, and you know, own these noobs. Because to us, they're noobs. You can call them a randy. You can call them a random. You can call them whatever you want. To us, the cake and the cake eater and the cupcake and all that other good stuff are noobs. Now, this made it extremely easy to understand which one it was. He's so laggy, or she is so laggy, whichever uh, uh, cake eater there is so laggy, they're not even walking. They're sliding. Extremely easy to identify that particular player. So, with that being said, I mean, I had fun. We had a great time. Uh, and I think Wayne will agree with me at any point in time, as long as I shut up long enough for you to hear him, that uh, we, we had a good time with this game. It was, uh, you know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't the best scoring game, but again, there's only 2v2. You can only kill them once and then have to go find them again. So by the time both of us get a kill, oh, we got to go freaking find them again. So, you know, it happens, but we had our fun time. Now look, I can tell you which one that is. Disguise or no disguise. You're the, the damn firebrand. You're one of the ones on the team. So... But, I mean, me and Wayne took different things away from this. Oh, I couldn't even drop a money bomb. There it goes. <laughs> my abilities didn't like me. That or he dropped the money bomb on me, one of the two. Uh, my favorite part had to be, you know, had to be their names. Challenge or no challenge, it was highly entertaining, and they, they certainly put up a good fight in the actual games when they could kill the other players and not just us. 
Um, but, you know, it is what it is, and that's that's my opinion on it. Uh, I'm sure Wayne has a different opinion on that. I mean, seriously, though, Wayne, what do you think? What's your favorite part? The funniest bit, though, had to be the ending. I mean, like, after everything that we went through, me and Racer helping oh, wow. them out, um, letting them beat us, even, even though on their round they were running away, and then ultimately they challenged us, and then we ended up beating them. They blamed their ability sets for losing against us, and we thought it was absolutely hilarious, uh, to the point where it was like, right, they must be trolling, they must just be making up excuses and just trying to be all arrogant and cocky. But no, <laughs> it turns out that they didn't know how to unlock any other abilities or the loadout slots. <laughs> <laughs> and like it was just so funny to the point where I, I couldn't handle it I just couldn't handle it it was like the final nail in the coffin and me and Racer just could not stop laughing I mean like to the point where I felt bad afterwards I actually felt bad afterwards because it was like we were just laughing in their faces because they didn't know how to unlock any abilities or loadouts but it was it was just too goddamn funny and yeah it was it was funny and we did end up getting them into the party and talking to them for a little bit in the party and although, you know, they didn't sound like they were 40, 50-year-old people, um, Wayne's comments cracked me up more than anything. They were obviously, they, they not obviously, but they were in a clan. Um, obviously, you're watching the game. You can see that they're in a clan. Wayne thought it would be great to invite them to the OTK SAS tournament that's being hosted on August 9th and 10th. Um, as many clans as we can get in, we certainly love to have, so... He thought it would be great for them to join. Not only did he think it was a great idea for them to join, he invited them and said, come on down, you'll have a giggle. <laughs> as soon as he said, come on down, you'll have a giggle, there was nothing I could do. Absolutely nothing I could do. I couldn't concentrate. I couldn't focus. I don't even remember what the conversation ended like, but for him to invite them in so that they could have a giggle <laughs> versus... You know, a serious competition or or whatnot, or have a good time. <clears throat> but to call it as it is is a giggle. <laughs> I just couldn't. I could not contain myself. I, I mean, I'm, I can't even contain myself now. It's just absolutely hilarious to hear him say, <clears throat> you know, hey, come by and you know, you'll have fun. Have a giggle. It'll be a giggle. <laughs> I love you, Wayne, but that part killed me. Um, so it is what it is. Now, granted, this match is almost over. We've got just over a uh, thousand point lead. Uh, got a free lure there. Got a little little walky, slidey kind of money bomb thing coming going on. Um, so we're we've got a commanding little lead, and all we're trying to do is hold on to that lead for another seven seconds, dude. That's it. Seven seconds, and we're good to go. Now I'd love to run into these guys in a public lobby again. I don't have anything against them. I didn't add them to my friends list. I didn't take them off my friends list. But it was a good time had by all. And to be honest, I'd do it again if I could. I certainly did. Yeah. Thanks to Wayne. Have a giggle. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed us talking about it. I'm uh, hoping to bring you some more crazy and fun stuff like this later on down the road. Yeah, but uh, definitely, definitely hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you actually thought about it. You want a chance? Check out Wayne's channel. He's a pretty good guy. He's got some pretty good videos out there as well. Uh, everything up to date with the new Assassin's Creed coming out. Anyway, guys, I'm kind of rushing it now. I'm just jumping in. I'm Racer, and I'm out.